Good morning, you guys. So today I am going sourcing and I thought I would take you guys along with me. The last thrift with me video did really well. You guys seem to enjoy that. So I am going to start trying to make a few more of those, but I also thought I would vlog a little bit of my morning. So my kids, I have two kids. Obviously my YouTube name is Thrifty Mom of Two. I have a seventh grader and a third grader now, and they just started back in school. They're going full day full day long school, which is great. Um, so I dropped them off this morning. I came back home, I showered for the day. So yesterday was actually a really, really good sales day for me. If you guys can tell, I had a ton of great sales, but I wanted to mention three of them in this video because I did have three sales that sold, three items that sold for $100 or more. Um, I did already package two of them up. I have to go grab the other one from the garage, which I will show you guys, but I will put a picture up uh, on the screen of what the items look like. So in this big brown box here on eBay, I actually sold a pair of Ariat boots. They were like a leather knee high tall riding boots that I thrifted. They were brand new with tags from the thrift store and I sold them for $175 free shipping on eBay. So I will put that picture up on the screen. So awesome sale there. And then um, I'll also put how much I paid for them because I can't remember off the top of my head. But in, in here, I also have a St. John, which if you don't know St. John, that is a great designer brand to be on the lookout for. I have a St. John blazer and skirt suit set. So it's the blazer and matching scoot, sc scoot, blazer and matching skirt, which I also thrifted. And that sold for $200 free shipping on Mercari. Amazing brand. I love and I get so excited every time I find that brand. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And then the final item that sold for $100 free shipping on Facebook Marketplace is down in my garage. So let's head on down there. We'll grab that and a few other items I need to grab, get those packaged up, and then we'll head out to the thrift store. So I am down in my garage. I apologize, the lighting is not the best, but these are the three additional items that sold overnight that I'm gonna go ahead and pack up real quick so I can take them to the post office. This first item here, this is actually the item that sold for $100 free shipping on Facebook Marketplace, which is great because Facebook Marketplace takes a very low fee. I think it's like 5% or something like that. Um, I do already have these wrapped up only because I wanted to protect this box because it is a special box. This is a pair of Vans, but it is a collaboration with The Simpsons. Um, so. Yeah, I did advertise these as brand new in box and I wanted to make sure I protected the box and everything. This was a pair of slip-ons. I know they're kind of hard to see and I'm not gonna be able to open this. I'll put a better picture on the screen, but they are a men's nine and a half or a women's 11. And I've mentioned before that collaboration vans do really well. I picked these ones up from the outlet, the vans outlet a while back. And yeah, I'm really happy with that sell. This next pair also sold on Facebook Marketplace for $55 with free shipping. This pair is called the Authentic Packing Tape Vans, women's size seven and a half. I have one more pair of these available also in a seven and a half if you're interested, but this is what they look like. Brand new in box and they again sold for $55 free shipping. I love Facebook Marketplace just because the fee is, again, so low and shoes do really well for me over there. Um, and then the last sale actually sold on eBay. This is a pair of New Balance, new in box. These are like the Minimus um, trail running shoes with the Vibram soles. And these are a women's size six. Okay, the lighting just got really bad. Hopefully you guys can see these are a women's size six. Brand new, I picked these up from Nordstrom Rack Online with some online arbitrage. I got a great deal on these and they sold for $50 plus the buyer paid shipping. So they probably paid like an extra eight to $10 for shipping on these and I just send them out. I'll put this back in here in these priority mail shoe boxes. 
So I'm gonna take these back upstairs, get them packed up, and then we'll head out. All right, guys, so everything is packaged up and ready to go to the post office. Now I just have to figure out how to carry all three of these downstairs to my car in one trip because I do not want to make two trips. So I'm gonna load these bags up on my shoulders and see if I can make it down there. <laughs> Okay, I got my shipping done, so that was fun, but I'm glad that that part is over. I just got to Savers Thrift Store, so I am going to head inside and hopefully we find some good things, so let's go. Okay guys, the thrift store is packed today. I felt this like sudden rush of like urgency that I had to get through the shoe section quickly because there was a ton of people over there. This is a pair of Merrells that I found. They had the Vibram soles, which I love, but as you can see, the tread was really worn down and they're just really beat up, not in the best condition. I love this brand, but unfortunately I had to pass on these ones just because they were in too rough of shape. This is a pair of New Balance. I actually just thrifted this exact shoe in this exact colorway, um, but, it was, but they were in better condition. I think they only had these ones priced at $7.99 but they were missing insoles so i had to pass on them i typically don't pick up shoes that are missing insoles occasionally i will make an exception this next shoe that i found is actually a collaboration with vans it's a harry potter collaboration and i've actually sold this exact shoe before i love the harry potter vans they sell so well but this pair was just so beat up i was super bummed I wanted to get these, but the black canvas was faded and they were just really, really worn. I just was not happy with the condition, so I had to leave those. I was really confused by this next pair of shoes because it said Sorel, but they didn't look like Sorels. Um, it says Nanook Sorel, and these are actually vintage Sorel boots made in Canada. I did look them up. And comps look to be between about $40 to $70 for this exact pair. There was some pretty good wear to the leather. You can see there's like a little scratch and there's, I don't know, just a lot of damage on the leather. It's not, they're definitely still wearable, but after, you know, really looking these over, I decided to go ahead and pass on them. I love selling Sorel boots and I thought the style of these was really cute, but also the thrift store wanted $30. So once I saw that, I had to put them back. If they would have had these priced, you know, probably 15 or under, I may have picked them up because they definitely were still wearable, but you can see there, there's some more damage just kind of on the leather there. So yeah, unfortunately I had to put these back, but I've never seen Vintage Sorel before, so that was cool. This next boot brand was actually a new to me brand. I believe it's pronounced Buffalino, um, but these were really nice quality leather. You could just tell the boot was really heavy. I thought the style was really cool too. I loved this color, this like rust leather. You kind of see the logo down there. And then it had this little keychain that says Buffalino. But yeah, you could just tell this leather was really nice. So I decided to look this brand up, but unfortunately comps just did not look good. And then after further kind of inspecting these boots, I did notice some damage to the rubber soles. So unfortunately I had to put these back as well, but definitely um, a cool looking shoe in my opinion. They were asking $15.99 for this pair. And then here you guys can see there's some separation on the rubber sole, kind of up towards the toe area there. And it kind of goes around the back of the boot too, almost as if the sole is starting to kind of peel apart. You can see it on the back of the heel. And like I said, comps just weren't there. There was a few that sold for a decent price, but majority of these sold for pretty low. This next pair of boots is by the brand Sanook. These are like a taller boot. And the last pair of these that I sold that were very similar to this pair sold for $40 on Poshmark. So when I initially saw these, I threw them right in my cart. I was pretty excited until I realized that I could not find a size on these anywhere. 
So unfortunately I had to put them back. I don't like picking up shoes that don't have a size. Occasionally I'll make an exception to that if it's like a shoe that's gonna sell for over $100, like some Gucci shoes or something like that. Of course, I'll get those without a size, but anything like this, I'm definitely going to leave behind. It's just a much harder sell when you can't actually put the you know true size in the listing. I saw this pair of sandals down here and I thought they were Birkenstocks, like the foam Birkenstocks. I actually have a pair, um, but unfortunately they were just the Mia brand or MIA. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. So that was a little bit of a bummer because they really did look like Birkenstocks at first. This next pair of shoes I have in my cart here, I decided to go ahead and put back. These are Jeffrey Campbell, which I do like selling this brand. I like looking up the styles just to check comps because certain styles can actually demand a pretty high price. But this pair, the suede, was so dirty and beat up on these. They were just in rough shape, so I didn't even bother looking up this style. I just decided it wasn't worth it. And then the last pair of shoes that I wanted to show you guys before I do my car haul. So if you do want to see all of the shoes I did pick up, I will be doing a car haul right after this. So stick around. But I wanted to show you guys these Puma little girls shoes. These are a Barbie collaboration. You can see it says Barbie. And then the back has these little bow ties that also say Barbie. So stinking cute. I have sold Puma collaboration shoes before and they've done well. I would have got these, but they priced them at $11.99, and these were going to require quite a bit of cleaning. You can see they're really dusty, and the suede's kind of worn, so I did pass on them. All right, guys, so I am back in my car. I went and grabbed some Starbucks. I went grocery shopping, and I had to pick up my kids from school, so I am sitting at home in my driveway right now um, just because I had to do a lot of running around. I didn't have time to do a car haul yet. But I thought I would just film a car haul in my driveway before I take all this stuff upstairs just so I can show it to you guys so you guys can see exactly you know what these shoes look like from the thrift store because usually in my halls where I'm sitting down in my living room I've already cleaned and prepped a lot of the shoes so this way you kind of just get a good look at everything exactly in the condition I pick it up in and I'll show you guys how much I paid for everything. Okay, so I have my receipt here. I spent a total of $281.40 on this entire haul. Um, I did use two 20% off coupons. So if you spend, for every $100 you spend, you can use one of the 20% off coupons. So since I spent over $200, I was able to stack two of them. Let me go ahead and just show you guys everything. Um, there's quite a bit, so I'm gonna be kind of quick. So the first item I have here is a pair of Nikes. These are the Nike SB, and I love selling this style of sneaker. This one's red with the gum bottom. I always pick up like the SB skateboarding is what it stands for. Um, Nike shoes, they are always a quick seller for me, and I think this colorway is super awesome. I think these will do well. They're in really good condition. So they will not require very much work. And these ones are a men's size seven. So I will probably list them actually as a women's size eight and a half because men's seven is pretty small. So I'll list them as the women's equivalent, which would be an eight and a half. I paid $18.99 for this pair plus the 20%. Okay, this next pair of shoes I was also super excited to find. This is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones, which you guys know are just a hot seller right now. These are the triple black version, the all black mid top uh, Air Force Ones. So that's really exciting. But yeah, I always love finding Nike Air Force Ones. I paid $13.99 for this pair plus the 20% off. And these are, these ones are a men's seven and a half, so they would be a women's nine. So I will probably list this pair as a size women's nine. Really good condition, a little creasing on the toe here, but 
overall these should clean up really nicely next up we have a pair of Merrells you guys know I love selling Merrell and these little shoes I've sold a very similar shoe to this before it basically looked the same it was like a wedge style like slip-on shoe but it did not have this Mary Jane strap across it um, and they sold well for me I think they sold on I think eBay I can't remember but probably eBay this pair is in amazing condition these honestly look like they have never been worn the insoles are perfectly clean and I paid $11.49 plus the 20% these ones are a women's size 10. Next shoe is a staple in my closet this is a pair of skate high they're the skate high zip is what they're called when they have the zipper on the back and this is a pair of black leather shoes there's a little bit of like like mud splatter here but that should wipe off really easy this sole will clean up really easy with just um, some rubbing alcohol so these will look nice they're actually in really good condition still um, you can see the insoles really clean these ones are a women's size six and I did pay up a little bit for these, but just because this style sells so well for me, I paid $18.99 and then I got the 20% discount. Okay, this next shoe is adorable. This is a pair of little kid Nike Hirachi triple pink or whatever you wanna call it, solid pink colorway sneakers. You can see the Nike on the back. The Hirachis are one of my favorite Nike styles to sell. I say that about all of them, but I love selling the Hirachis. Um, and these ones are really cute. They do need a little bit of cleaning, but overall they're still in pretty good condition. These ones are a youth size 10C, and I paid $4.99 plus the discount. This next shoe brand was a new to me brand. I've actually never seen this brand before, but I looked it up because it did have this really interesting insole. So it has the Euro sizing, which is sometimes a good indication to look up the brand. But this insole looks, I mean, really nice. It kind of reminds me of like a Birkenstock style insole, um, something similar to that. But it says um, cork light comfort technology over here. And then the brand is Oats, Oats Shoes. OTZ, I think is how you say it. So Oats Shoes. And the insoles on these are in really good condition. But this brand is actually a pretty expensive comfort shoe brand. I need to look a little bit more into it to see uh, where it's made and all of that. But the comps looked really good. So I was really excited to find these. These should do really well. Bottoms are a little dirty, but the upper looks really nice. And they're a Euro 40, so probably like a women's nine and a half to 10. I paid $6.99 plus the discount. I'll try to put like a comp up on the screen if I can find one in that purple colorway. Um, so you guys can see roughly how much I expect to get for those. This next pair, so stinking cute. I was so excited to find, the, find these. This is a pair of Hello Kitty themed vans. So these are vans. You guys know I love selling the collaboration vans. Um, and I have sold the Hello Kitty collaboration before, but never this style. So you can see it says vans, Hello Kitty on the inside. And this is like a soft, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Yeah, this is like a soft textured, like fuzzy fabric. And again, they just need a little wipe down, but overall they're not not too bad. These ones are a, they're a kid's size four, so that would probably fit a women's size five and a half. So a little bit of a smaller size, but really stinking cute. I paid $11.99 for this pair, plus the discount. Vans usually, um, once they do the, the collaborations and they're sold out, it's they're discontinued or that's it. So a lot of the collaboration pairs, and this pair is from 2014, it has the date on it. Um, you can't find it or you can't get them anymore once once they're sold out so that's why i love selling this um the collaborations just because you can sometimes demand a higher price depending on the demand 
for the style and how many are available on the marketplaces that you're selling on. Okay, my next find was a pair of Brooks running shoes. I love selling Brooks running shoes. They do so well. It's one of my favorite sneaker shoe brands. I will always grab Brooks if they're in good condition and it's um, a good style. There's some older styles that I leave behind, but these ones um, you can tell are you know, a newer style. They're called the Revel 3. It says right on the tongue. Love the purple soles. The tread is still pretty good, so that's always something you want to look at when you're looking at running shoes because people will typically want to see the bottom of the shoes. You want to make sure you take a picture of this. But yeah, if the tread's too worn down on running shoes, I usually will leave them behind unless it's like an amazing pair of shoes. Sometimes Hoka's, I've picked up some Hoka's that are a little beat up on the bottom and those will still sell. Um, these ones are a women's size eight and a half. Up next, I have a pair of Keens. You guys know this is another amazing brand to pick up, K-E-E-N. I paid $9.99 plus the discount for this pair. It's just like a little like Mary Jane style comfort slip on shoe really good condition still just needs a little cleaning but overall they still look good these ones are a women's size six and a half okay next up i have another pair of nikes these ones are in really nice condition this will clean up again which is some rubbing alcohol um, you can use like a cloth or magic eraser and get that off super easy but the upper looks great they're a hot pink and these ones are called the Flex Experience Run 5. These ones are a youth size 5, which would be a 6.5 in women's. So I'll probably list them as a 6.5 women's. Whenever I do list a shoe in like an equivalent size, like a youth to women's conversion or a men's to women's or women's to men's, Whenever I do that, I always just make sure that I disclose that in my description. I just put, you know, these are a youth size five listed as the women's equivalent size, which would equal a women's six and a half. I just write that in my description. And then I also um, include pictures of the size tag. And sometimes I will even put the size chart, a, like a size chart from Nike, which you can just Google and get a size chart. And I will put that in my, that picture at the end of my listing so people can see the size chart as well um, but this way they can compare like the euro sizing and all of that so these ones there are five youth they would be a women's six and a half and the euro size is a 37 and a half Nike shoe sizing it's a one and a half size difference so if it's a youth or a um, men's size the women's will always be a one and a half size bigger and I did pay up a little bit for these, but I was okay with that because I have sold the Flex Experience running shoes before and they typically sell pretty quick for me. I paid $15.99 plus the discount and I was okay paying that because these are in such amazing condition. If they were gonna require a lot of cleaning or if they were um, you know, dirty on the upper, I would have not have paid that price for this pair. Okay, next up I have a pair of boots. I'm trying to pick up some more boots since we're moving into the fall. It is still really hot here in Southern California. I have my air conditioner on right now, I'm like melting, but I know people are starting to shop for boots. This pair is adorable. They're like a black leather Chelsea style boot. I always do well with the Chelsea style, like little leather booties like this. Um, but I love how this one has like a little accent around the edge. It has these little studs, like these little spikes all the way around. And these are in pretty good condition. They are Zara Woman, which I don't always pick up a ton of Zara, but I will pick up some of their trendy shoes if I like the style. These ones are a size 37, so they probably fit a women's six and a half to seven. I bought them for $13.99 plus the discount and I think these will do well. The next pair of shoes I have is another pair of boots. These are like a Western cowgirl style boot. They do have like some, you know, scratches and stuff on the leather. I am gonna condition the leather and it should make this look a lot nicer, but I really liked this upper part. I love the stitching and like the 3D floral pattern on it structural structurally structurally i don't know why that's such a hard word for me to say all of a sudden 
Um, these are still in really good condition. So these are Arena Queen Tombstone is the brand, Tombstone Boots. And these Western like cowgirl boots retail for like two, around like 200 to $300, I believe, brand new. These ones, you know, obviously are not new. They do have some wear, but I should still be able to make a pretty decent profit on these. These are women's size six and a half, and I paid $13, $13.99 plus the discount. So really excited about those. Next up, I have a pair of dance shoes. I only see one. Okay, here is the other one. So this is a pair of Dansko, just like the traditional clog nursing style shoes, except for these ones say Dansko XP 2.0. I don't think I've ever found any that said that on there. So I'm not sure if it's like a newer style, um, but these are still in pretty good condition. The bottoms still look really nice. I'll just you know, pick those rocks out, clean them up a little bit. There is some scratches on the toes. I'll put a little bit of like leather conditioner on there, but they're probably still gonna show, you know, just a little bit. It will darken it a little bit, so it'll look a little nicer, but I still think they will sell even with a little bit of scratches on the toes there. They are just a brown leather, and I paid $14.49 for these plus the discount, but I usually make a pretty decent profit on dance goes. I'll probably sell these anywhere between like $45 up to $60. This next find was exciting. I wish my son was still small enough to wear these, but he's in third grade now, so he has a much bigger foot than this. But this is a little pair of Nike Jordan sneakers. You can see the little Jordan there. I don't remember the exact style name of this shoe. I'll put it up on the screen, but these are absolutely adorable. They're in really good condition too. I'm just gonna wipe that clean. And I love selling little kid Jordans. They sell so well. These ones are a youth size 10C. Next up, I have another awesome brand. This is Olukai. I don't know if you guys can read it on there, maybe on the bottom. So it's Olukai. The little symbol looks like a little like fish hook or like the stick on Maui or whatever that Disney um, show is, but these shoes sell amazing. In fact, I just sold a pair of Olu Olukai men's slip-on shoes. Um, I just shipped them out today, actually. You guys probably saw all my packages earlier, but I sold those shoes. I'll put them up on the screen. They were a men's leather slip-on, and I don't remember what they sold for, but I'll also put that on the screen. So this is just a pair of purple, women's slip-ons. I do need to clean these ones a little bit, but they're totally worth it. This brand sells so well for me. I'll just take a little bit of dish soap and scrub the insole and then clean the bottom. These ones are a um, women's size nine and a half and I paid $6.49 plus the discount. So if I'm paying that you know, that little of an amount for a pair of shoes, that's a really good brand. I don't mind putting a little bit of cleaning or a little effort into cleaning them. This next shoe brand I actually was not familiar with, but I looked it up and this brand I think is sold at Revolve and some of those other more expensive like online trendy places. I know I saw some on Revolve, but this is the brand Ray. R-A-Y-E. These are genuine leather, super cute little slip-on shoes. They have this square toe, very trendy. Um, when I picked these up, I could just tell they were really nice quality because this insole's genuine leather and this is like that buttery soft leather. So I did look up this brand and comps actually look really good. These are women's size six and a half and they honestly look like they've never been worn. So I did pay $10.99 for these plus the discount, but yeah, comps look really good. I'll try to find this exact style and see if I can put a comp up on the screen just so you guys can see. Definitely worth that price though. Okay, this next pair I was again excited to find. I saying that about all of the shoes, but I really was. I get so excited when I find brands that sell well for me and that I love selling. This is Palladium. I've mentioned this brand a few times. I love, 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 love this boot brand. These ones are like their canvas boots. I know I'm getting like a weird lighting. Sorry about that, you guys. Almost done here. Um, 
And these ones, they're a little like dusty, but they're still in really good condition. The tread looks good. They should still clean up really nice. No rips or tears. I paid $15.99 for these plus the discount. Um, but usually these sell for like $45 plus for me. And these ones are a men's 10 so really good size as well okay next up i have this pair of nike sneakers which i also did pay up just a little bit for as well but um i think these will clean up nicely so they they are a little bit dirty but not too bad i think i should be able to clean them up and these ones are a men's size 11 yeah men's size 11 i paid 19.99 plus the discount and yeah, I think they should do good. They're called the Zoom 2000 sneakers. And then this last pair I definitely paid up for. Some of you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy for buying these, but I just could not leave them behind. They are a pair of limited edition Converse sneakers in the Aquaman style. So any of these limited edition collaboration sneakers, so these, obviously Aquaman and Converse. The upper on this one is actually in really good condition. It's really clean all the way around. So I won't have to mess with the canvas at all. It looks really nice. The insoles are also very, very clean, which is another reason I grabbed them. This white cleans super easy with some rub rubbing alcohol. That will look nice and white again, as well as the edge here. So I should be able to make these look very very nice uh, once I clean them but I did pay $29.99 so I definitely paid up for these I got the 20% off so I think I probably paid close to like 24 24 to 25 dollars um, after tax for these which is a little steep but I did check online I saw some that had sold between 50 and 70 dollars which I know again is still not a huge profit margin but also I checked sizes and these are a men's size 13 so that's an amazing size and I could find none on eBay or Poshmark in a men's size 13 even listed and since these are a limited edition collaboration they're going to be hard to find and I still think that once I clean these up I could probably get closer to that $70 price range just because of the size. They may sit for a while, but I am going to try to hold out on these ones and try to get, um, try to still make a decent profit. So I think it was worth it. I, I do well with the collaboration sneakers. Okay guys, real quickly before the lighting like keeps getting worse in here, I did pick up a few clothing items. I didn't have too much time to spend in the clothing because I spent most of my time in the shoes and then I had some other errands I needed to run. Um, but I picked up a few things that I found while I was walking around. I thought I would just show them to you guys real quick. So this is a pair of denim shorts, high rise with the rolled hem really cute style this is by the brand bdg which is an urban outfitters brand i do like selling denim by this brand if it's a cute trendy style which most of it is um, these ones are called the mom high rise shorts and they are a women's size 26 i paid 6.49 plus the discount the 20 percent Okay, this next item is a 100% silk nightgown like dress. It has kind of like the draped like cowl neck in the front. It's this really pretty like blush pink and it is a longer length like silk nightgown. It has this open back with a little tie. And I grabbed this because it is 100% silk and because it is a longer length, like midi length style. I think it will do really well. This is by Victoria's Secret and it is a size medium. I paid $9.99 plus the 20% discount, but I definitely think it's worth it just because it is the silk and the length of this is the midi to midi to full length depending on how tall you are if this was polyester i probably would have left it behind but a lot of these like slip dress style dresses are selling really well right now and then i grabbed another victoria's secret item but this one is actually a vintage gold label victoria's secret which is something to look out for definitely put that as a keyword in your title make sure you write vintage 
gold label Victoria's Secret because there are collectors of this label. And this is a beautiful, it's kind of like a kimono. It's sheer, it has this beautiful floral pattern and then um, kind of like these wide sleeves. It's absolutely beautiful. It is missing the wrap belt that goes with it, but I think you can just kind of wear it open. I would wear this more, I mean, you can wear it as like a robe. That might be what it is. Um, you, but you could definitely wear this as like a kimono or over a swimsuit. And then it still does have this tie here. So if you wanted to tie it that way, you could, and you could always add your own belt, but I think it will still sell without the belt, which is why I grabbed it. It also was only $3.99 plus the 20%. So definitely worth it. And then the last clothing item I had was another exciting one. This is by the brand Nils. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. N-I-L-S size eight regular. And this is an amazing like outdoor ski snowboard brand. Um, these pants retail for over $100. We're moving into that season. I think I've already sold like recently in the last month, two pairs of snowboard pants. Snowboard pants are selling well right now and these should do really well. Um, I paid $6.99 plus the 20% discount. All right guys, so that was it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, make sure you subscribe down below if you enjoy reseller related content. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.